All right, what I have here is a small stack of 90% silver, uh, $35 face value, the uh, Kennedy half, Walking Liberty half, and the Franklin half, and the uh, roll of Mercury dimes, which I think are gonna probably look for the best out of all what I have here, because they were advertised as uh, almost uncirculated. Here's a look at one of them. Looks pretty nice. Mercury dime. Let's take a look at another one. So those are the Mercury dimes, which are very popular in this space. And so let's take a look at some of these halves. I doubt there's anything significant in here, but uh, I'm gonna crack them open and uh, take a look regardless. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the Franklin halves, and these are gonna be not as nice as the dimes. Look here. So, but still silver nonetheless. I thought, what I learned, and what I thought was pretty interesting was that any combination of <clears throat> these types of coins that add up to a dollar is the same weight in silver, uh, as my understanding, regardless. So for example, 10 of those dimes is 0.715 ounces of silver. Uh, two of these is 0.715 ounces of silver, and on and on, which I thought was pretty uh, interesting. Um, so these are the, the Franklins. Now with these, I'm not gonna go with the you know, the airtight plastic direct fits or whatever. And then I'm just gonna get a, I guess I have to get like a regular old coin tube. Maybe my father had some extras up there that I could tap into. But anyway, these are the, these are the Franklin halves. Let's take a look at the uh, Walking Liberties. Now I was interested in eventually getting a, um, uh, an uncirculated roll of these. I imagine it's getting harder and harder to find because how old they are. Um, all right, take these out. And these are the, the Walking Liberties. Let's see the dates. I think these are all from the 40s. But uh, certainly uh, well circulated, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and not the most attractive condition, but that doesn't affect the intrinsic value of the silver itself, right? That's the whole point. So silver is silver, I guess regardless of how it looks. So got the walking liberties. Let me get these out of the way. I'm going to clean this up a bit, and I'm going to get into those Kennedy halves in just a moment. All right, got the roll open. These are probably in the nicest shape, considering they're the newest. But um, definitely, well, this is pretty nice. That's a nice one, right? Oops. So I got the, the half dollar, I think. The only other half dollar I can get, I guess, are the barber halves. And, those seem to be incredibly expensive and so heavily circulated that when you find some, they just look like smooth discs of silver, it seems. So that's uh, going to be the extent of my little mini stack of 90% silver, which I do find interesting to collect. And maybe over time, I'll add a little more bits and pieces to it. I'm thinking about... Uh, you know, just getting the quarters just to have every, I guess, every denomination. Um, and I probably would do maybe like a uncirculated roll of quarters. I don't know. Um, I still like to get an uncirculated roll of these. I kind of like these, these uh, walking liberties. Um, uh, uncirculated or almost uncirculated, whatever the terminology is. So uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's a wrap on this particular coin video. Um, not sure what's coming next, but, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.